Oh, no, go this way. Oh, it's tough. Get back. Time. Can y'all see me, man? Let me move this. Okay, here we go. We go on this side so y'all can see me a little better. This is an under-seat enclosure for a Silverado. In fact, this is Clinton McDonald's box. Birch, black stain. As y'all can see. Nice. Nice, clean line. Right? But it's four weights in the truck box. This, to me, in my opinion, is the best six and a half on the market. It's a digital design 1506. As you can see, it has a, let's get a little closer. As you can see, it has a very, very large motor structure. Let's get a, let me see if I can. Uh, let's see. I should have got my stand, but I like this impromptu stuff. Because this be free, top of my head. Uh, let, baby, give me that, uh, give me that. Hippo, six six point four. Now, as you can see, this is the this six and a half has its own basket. Okay, it's twenty five oh eight basket shrunk down. And they have a large cutout. Uh, you have a uh, large motor structure. This motor structure is comparable, yeah, comparable to the size of a uh, American base uh, XD eight. Uh, but this is a six and a half. Okay, uh, what else has a motor structure like that? It's not as wide as a Sundown E8. E Sundown E8 has a little wider booty, but it's the same height. Top plate on this joke is a little higher than the Sundown E8, as you can see. Let me show y'all. See the top plate on this boy? Here we go. Get out of the way, man. You see the top plate on that? This is the top plate, y'all. You get to the mic. Okay, y'all see how big that top right is? Yeah, this is a six and a half, though. Okay, so in my opinion. This is the best six to have on the market as far as as far as everything. The amount of power it can handle and the output it can give. It has a larger cutout than say some of the competition who still have good six and a half, but they just don't have the same size. And as obvious as y'all can see, you definitely not gonna have the same not saying size all the case, but this they're definitely not gonna have the same motor structure. As you can see, this boy, let him go. <laughs> Let them go. As you can see, this is significantly larger than this. Because of the deeper basket, you know you're going to, because of the depth, depth, that's that word again, D E P T H, of the basket, you know you're going to get a deeper base from a longer throw. Uh, a little bit more longer cone, too. This is the six and a quarter, six and five, sixteen piece cut out. This is the standard 5.9 cut out of here. That they use with this basket. Now let me explain something to you. There are other six and a halves too. Uh, baby, hammer that match. Can't go on this side over here and hammer that match. They use the same six ball basket, but they have increased their motor structure to a larger size. Let me show them that too, so I can explain when I understand these six and a halves and why I use it. Four six and a half is better than using two eights. Best you better use of the space. Now this is a another super six and a half. As you can see, it has a larger motor than the standard. Now remember, motor size doesn't already means it is better. But the brands that I like to review and have on the channel, if they have increased the motor size, it's far stronger than what the average competitor is using. Okay, so this is massive entry into the six and a half. Right here. I think this is the only model they have. Good model, does perform. Okay. But this is us this is in this woofers class. Strictly because of the use of a larger motor structure. Okay. Davis Thompson used this same basket, but if I'm looking at the basket, no, it's it used the same basket openly source. And this is his four ran to the six and a half uh David Thompson. Uh, into the six and a half arena, and he went with just one size, straight to the right, straight to the super six and a half, straight in this boy's arena. Now, I personally feel that the four fifteen oh sixes, after using them inside my mega cab, in the same size box that I was using with my two eights, 
have decided to deduce and discern that it is a better use of the space. You only got so much volume on your seat. Period. Really, now I showed you the three and a half inch seat lift. It looks ridiculous. Okay, I can't sit in the back of a three and a half inch seat lift truck. But some of you don't care because they don't ride nothing back there but the dog. Most want the two and a half. In the two and a half, you only get so much space behind that seat. Whether I, any, I don't care who builds your box, unless Jesus builds it, and that way he can make the space enough be more than what it is, like he did with the five fish and the, the five, the three loads, of, the five, the three loads of fish and five loads of bread. He can do miracle stuff like that. But out doing a miracle though, the space is the space in there. It ain't finna change, okay? So by using four six and a halves, what you are able to do. Each two six and a halves have more cone area than one eight. That's the pro, okay? By taking out the same space that you would use with two eights and putting in four six and a halves, because two six and a halves can play in the exact same volume that one eight can play in. Even if you're playing in the minimum volume of most good high performance eights. Even if you're playing in that eights minimum, 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 minimum. Another word I can't say. My haters going to love that. <laughs> Minimum volume. You can still use two eights, two six and a half in that same space. So let's say you got an eight that can only play in 0.75. You can put two six and a half in that 0.75. You can't put two eights in 0.75. You need to put two eights in 1.5. Well, if you put two eights in 1.5, you can put four six and a half in 1.5. Because you can put two six and a half. I mean, you can put two six and a half, but you can put one eight. So what's the benefit of that? So you because you put more subwoofers, yeah, you put in more, you put an extra subwoofer, but you're also increasing the cone area because two six and a half have more cone area than one eight. You get closer to a ten, but bigger than eight, in the same volume. Better use of the space. So you're getting a, you actually with two six and a half, you say six and a half, but actually you're getting the cone area of a subwoofer. There's even with the digital 2508, if you use a digital 2508 or J Audio or a kicker, a Q class, you can find them. When you put two six and a half together, you have more cone area than all those who have very large cone areas. DB Drive G7, two six and a half is going to have more cone area. Now, <coughs> if you get the right six and a half, you can get very, very deep bass. Not all of them sound the same. Let me tell you and give you an example. Baby, walk over there. Give me that that uh that uh that entry level six and a half. So I'm saying you would be louder with four six and a half than two eights. And to me, it's a better use of the space. Don't let the size fool you. I'm showing y'all the size of the size necessary. I'm showing y'all and showing myself because I didn't believe it at one time. People didn't know me back in 20. No, not that one. The uh Oh, that's the yeah, put that's another super six super six that. Uh gotta get in contact with him. Uh give me that right there. I hear. Yeah. Entry level. How many minutes have went by? Eight minutes, good. I wanna talk with Dell. Try to keep them the formal stuff they can use. Just, just sitting in front of them about nothing. This is an entry level six and a half. Company bought out by Scar. Hey, look for Scar subwoofers to improve in performance. Because if they use the same engineering they use at Audio Legion, if they start and he started incorporating that, I believe Scar will go from a company that just went in for the money. And if he uses, I'll make a standard video and talk about that. We'll talk about that later. So this is a standard entry level six and a half. They even use in a mid range six and a half basket. This is, I think, two, three hundred watts. Now, what I am I saying for these will be the output of a Super 8? No. <laughs> no, but it's more cone area. Yeah, now we're going to fight doing the ability to move farther and harder. You get four of these, uh, this basic entry level design, six and a half right here. Single slug, like like okay, even even uh uh like Sundown Audio six and a half, the single slug one they got the SA six and a half. I'm he even Jacob. I'm not looking for an over the top performance from that. I'm just you got smaller space. Four of those will have more output than two E eights, but will four of those have more output than two XAV threes? Uh, no. 
You know why? Because that's a greater performance level. So when you're looking at entry levels, and this is this is very entry. This is entry. Look at this. Now just look at the size of the motor structure. Okay, look at the size. Easy to go up under the seat of a truck. But look at the size of the motor structure. Easy. I don't care. Very little. They're, now it's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. You only get a certain level of performance. Remember, they call they pay the cost, even in cardio. So this is entry level. Boom. This is intermediate level. Y'all see that? So put entry level down. Now we're at intermediate level. We go to in, from intermediate level to advanced. We're still in six and a half. This is a super six and a half. This is advanced expert. This is intermediate. This is beginner. When you get to the soup, when you get to the intermediate level, compare it against the even against advanced. Eight. When you get four intermediate level six and a half. Can compete in output with two advanced performance eights. So I'm saying if I have four of these, four intermediate levels, I will be able to keep up in performance comparable to two Sundown XAV3s or one Diesel Designs 2508 non supercharged with the intermediate level. For sure, for sure, performance level 2508, two 2508s. Four of these. <laughs> or four of this brand. Super 8. No contest. Better use of the space. Now, here's the con. The Super 6.5 going to cost you. <laughs> the Super 6.5 going to cost you. They're not cheap. At all. Uh, This was his three ninety nine, maybe... A little cheaper that you buy from a dealer. You can buy them online for like $400. $400. Uh, $150. And here's soup. Now, this is a steal from Max. This is a steal. I don't sell Max. But what he giving you in this eight, in this six and a half, for $149 is a steal. And y'all go ahead and come up with a channel later. I don't sell Matt. I respect him. I don't sell Matt. I would like to. <laughs> I like their performance. But at this point in time, this live video right here, I do not. And I'm telling you, from hearing them, and I'm going to let y'all hear them. This is a steal. I only got one, though. I've heard them in guys' vehicle. Soup 8, 150 bucks. This one. I think this is 152 in the media level. 150, 169. But this woofer here should be at its performance level, about two, 225. This should be, this is on the same level as the DC Audio M4 six and a half, which is a steal as well. But he's selling this for 150, which makes it even top that. And I sell DC Audio. Depending on what you want to run. Sound wise, hmm. We'll have to see. I'll let y'all decide that. Then. Let y'all let y'all we'll, we'll have to see. But don't sleep on mats when it comes to sound. Don't woo and output. And output. Working on getting that video up here for this dreadnought eight. I don't know if I want to use the box. This that's cubic feet that I use for everyone else. Or do I want to do something different? For just him. I just right now I just have a single. We'll see. But anyway, four six and a half is a better use of the space under a truck than two eights. And there are six and a halves out there that have the performance level to give you all the base output you need using six and a half. I showed you the 25 weight. So put the video up here with the post and go back and wind and look at it. Look at all the videos on my channel on 15 1506. I've been going to the six and a half here mark, market too as well because I believe that with four of them in a truck, you'd be surprised at the level output you can get. Six and a half and eights. That's what I'm going to be doing.
And every now and then I'm going to throw something else in there for you guys to be looking for. Just stay tuned. But anyway, that's the NBA School of Thought, about the six and a half. Uh, there's a lot of them. There's a couple of them that I sell. The digital designs, the DC audio, the B2 audio. The B2 audio, six and a half, is a intermediate level. It's not advanced. The DC audio has two six and a halves, one intermediate level and one advanced, the M4. Digital Designs has two as well, uh, intermediate level and an advanced uh, performance level. Uh, let me see. Max has one. But I don't sell Max. I sell the other three I told you about. Kicker has one. And this, to me, is an intermediate level. It's, 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 it's a little bit, it's about the same size. It's not intermediate level. To me, it's a beginner level. It's about this size. Has about this much wattage. About two, 200 at the most, maybe 250. Uh, and that's it. Some more and more about the name. Maybe all oh, the Memphis. Some people gonna say about the Memphis audio six and a half. I haven't heard it yet. I might go back up to Air Forty One, <laughs> Kyle County, and get one. And then I'll contact Memphis and say, "Hey man, I'm gonna review one of your products. Uh, what you wanna? I'm just letting you know you're on a hot seat. <laughs> well, peace, man. Give me up. You need a box four four six nine four four eight one eight. And as always. Please, let, boy, I got some, ooh, boy, look at that. Y'all got some gun. Wait till them haters say something about that deal. But, woo-wee. Yeah. Arm bars and choke out. <laughs> Peace, man. I'll let you later. Now you're in there, right?